So we'll start with the mitomycin injection on a 30 gauge needle here being placed six to eight millimeters back from the limbus, injecting an intratenon's dose of mitomycin, small dose of 0.1 cc, uh, 0.2 milligrams per cc in terms of concentration, and then having the patient look down while rotating a uh, wet Q-tip, a moistened Q-tip, to keep that mitomycin back away from the limbus. The goal here, of course, is to create a more posterior bleb, and the uh, area of application is in the supranasal quadrant, will be the area where the Zen will be intended to be implanted. Having the patient look down again and rotating the Q-tips here, keep the mitomycin away. I usually wait about a minute or so prior to making incisions. Mitomycin binds fairly quickly, so there's really very little concern about it entering the eye, although we do irrigate the surface of the eye to ensure there's no free mitomycin that may have leaked onto the surface of the eye prior to making incisions. Ingeborg, which concentration of mitomycin are you injecting? One milligrams per ml, and I use uh, 100 microliters. Um, this is actually half of the concentration that I use um, routinely for mitral ectomies. Um, and so this is really, um, I get the question quite often, you know, what concentration should we use? Um, and that is really dependent on your patients. Um, and I advise surgeons to indeed look at the concentration that they use for their Um Because if you need higher concentrations in your trabeculectomies, then you may also need higher concentrations uh, for your Xen. I use point two milligrams per ml in my trabeculectomies. So as you can see, I'm injecting far in the back and superficially because I like to place the implant also quite superficially. So I basically want to elevate, um, I want to elevate the conjunctiva and place the implant just un below the conjunctiva, the mitochondrial spore. Um, I don't want to have mitomycin right at the limbus because that's where it mm -hmm. can cause problems. I like to keep it in the back and just allow it to come forward to lift the conjunctiva slightly exactly where I'm going to aim with the implant.